Hi everyone, my name is Marcy Cummins and today I'm going to be delivering my speech called Mapping Your Weather Less. I really feel like travel is one of the most important experiences you can have in your life. I myself didn't have a desire to travel and then I moved to England in 2010. And in those four short years I made a solid plan and I traveled through seven different countries and countless different cities. Last year, the Biz International Business Times reported that 68 million Americans had traveled abroad. And this chart shows that the most visited city with international tourists was Paris, France, with 15.6 million visitors in 2011. Obviously, we all have our own personal reasons for travel, whether it be personal enjoyment or education. I really feel that traveling can enrich your life in a multitude of different ways. Traveling can help you build patience as well as develop respect for different cultures and traditions. Traveling can also help you see the bigger picture in life. Traveling has created for me friendships all over the world and long lasting memories that I'll cherish. We all see those places on the travel channel, those exotic beaches. And let's face it, those look really good. And I would love to throw on a swimsuit and go lay out by the beach and sip fruity drinks. But I felt like traveling based upon my interests really provided me with a broader sense of knowledge and more enjoyment on my trips. Obviously, picking a destination is not as easy as putting your finger on the map. Um, the process that I found that's worked best for me is basing my travel on my interests and I've immediately gone online and used websites like TripAdvisor, Yelp, and Wikipedia. They've all pointed me in the direction of the highest rated attractions, the best places to eat, and sometimes they even let you know about that hidden gem that's not advertised, but it's definitely worth going out of your way to see. One other resource that I really like to use is a library. Uh, there are hundreds of books on travel based on cities, countries, regions, you name it, it's there. Uh, Rick Steves is an amazing resource. He is like a travel god. He has great advice in all of his books for traveling uh, based on different cities and countries. Once you get your itinerary done, it's time to start tallying up the cost. According to moneying.com, some of the best ways to save while you're traveling is to pack light. Check with your airline to see what their baggage fees are and how much baggage is allotted. If you can travel within your allotted amount of baggage, it could literally save you hundreds of dollars. One other uh, recommendation I have is checking with the city that you're going to be staying in. Some of the bigger cities like Rome, England, uh, New York will have uh, passes. I used a Roma pass in Italy and it allowed me entrance to several di different attractions all over the city and they're offered at a discounted rate. So what I paid for that pass I, I saved up by not having to pay for several different other entrance fees. Public transportation is a way to save some cash. I get it, it's not all for us, but if you wanna save and put your money towards other things on a trip, that's also a great way. Renting an apartment is kind of the status quo nowadays. Um, they can be a lot cheaper than hotel rooms. So there's great websites like Airbnb or Home Apart, I believe, .com I use, and I've uh, been able to book apartments in several different major cities. Forbes.com has compiled this list of 10 websites that have helped with financial planning and finding the best deals for your traveling needs. One other thing I'm going to touch on is safety. Um, obviously, each individual country has their own safety risks. It's up to you to look into those risks and decide if traveling there is safe enough for you and if it's worth the risk. One thing that I'm going to talk about uh, that is sort of on a more broad spectrum that we all deal with would be uh, pickpocketing. It's easy to get pickpocketed. I've been pickpocketed and thankfully nothing but a couple euros was in my pockets. However, after that experience, I invested in what's called a money belt. I highly recommend it. It's the number one way to, tra to combat pickpocketers. It can go underneath your clothing and it is very discreet. 
and it's way cooler than wearing a granny's fanny pack. <laughs> um, one of the other ways you can combat pickpocketing is by leaving your valuables locked up in the safe provided for you at the hotel room. Otherwise, I recommend making copies of all your documents, travel documents, passports, in case you need those for a backup. One other issue is clothing. Uh, you wouldn't think, but clothing can make you a target. Keep your American flag t-shirt at home. I love America, but not everybody else does. Don't make yourself an easy target while you're out and about. So today I went over itineraries, financial planning, and safety. I really appreciate you listening to my speech today called Mapping Your Wonderlust. I'm Marcy Cummins. Go out and have an adventure.